Welcome back. I've been using Premium Pro for all my YouTube videos and I wish I knew this trick before. In today's session, I will be showing you the best export settings for your audio and video for your YouTube inside Premium Pro 2023. Trust me, your video is going to look crisp, clear, and you're going to have perfect audio levels for your YouTube audience. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kuala. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. I just finished recording a video for my Canvas training and now it's time to go ahead and export it. To export, I'm going to click on this export option that is all the way on the top here. That's the new update for Premium Pro 2023. And as you can see, I have all these presets for the 2023 update version. I have my YouTube Venmo. I'm not going to pick any of these. I'm going to go ahead and create my own. The first thing you have to do is give your file a name. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. And once that's done, the next option is to pick your location. Simply go ahead and click on this location link right here. I'm okay with what I have, but if you want to go ahead and change it, simply click on it and pick the one that you want. And once that's done, I'm going to scroll all the way down to format and YouTube recommends H.264 for your 1080p video. I've used a Canon T6i to record this video. So this H.264 is my best option. But if you want, when you click on it, you have all these different options to pick and choose from. But I think I'm going to pick H.264 because that is recommended by YouTube and that gives you the best quality. Now let's go ahead and click on this little arrow for video here and I'm going to leave it to match the source. I'm going to scroll all the way down. Very important, make sure you check use maximum render quality. I'm scrolling down and here when it comes to your encoding, where is it? You will make sure you check hardware encoding and trust me by checking your hardware encoding, your video exports and encodes much faster than the software. Once that's done, I'm going to scroll down and here comes my bitrate encoding. If I take a look at YouTube, YouTube recommended bitrate for my 1080p's depending on your SDR or HDR. I'm using a Canon T6i, so for me, it's a HDR. And the bitrate according to YouTube is the minimum is 10 and the maximum is 15. So I'm going to go ahead and make my bitrate in between minimum of 10 and 15, which is I'm going to leave it as 13. And the bitrate is VBR one pass. If you have a lot of movements in your video, then I recommend using VBR two pass, but it's pretty much a static video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use VBR one pass. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead, scroll down and my audio, this is exactly where it's supposed to be for 48,000 and it's stereo and the bitrate is 320. That is also recommended by YouTube. Now, once all of that is done, make sure you go ahead and check this effect panel. Let me minimize these so you can see this better. If your FX is unchecked, make sure you go ahead and check this one and let me go ahead and expand. And once you scroll down under your effects panel, make sure you click your loudness. This is where you will be setting the perfect audio level. So YouTube does not normalize your videos. If you have any high peaks or low peaks, YouTube kind of normalizes it. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure your video is your video and audio is at perfect level. So once that's done, I'm going to go scroll all the way down here. Instead of ATSC, I'm going to go ahead and pick ITBS. That number, I don't know what that means, but I definitely know YouTube does not measure the audio in decibels. It measures in loudness units. So here, this loudness, loudness unit is set for negative 24. I'm going to go ahead and change it to negative 14. That's what the YouTube maximum loudness is. And the tolerance low is zero. I'm going to make sure I set it to zero. And the true peak level is negative one decibels. You don't want your video to be peaking. You want it to be nice and smooth for your audience. Now, once all of that is done, all you have to do is simply click export and your video is ready to export. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new about Premium Pro today. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. They could be educators who are looking for tips and tricks on Premium Pro. Do you want me to do more Premium Pro videos? If that's the case, please make sure you comment in the comment section below. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Technology and Canvas playlist. Do not forget to check them out. And like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.